Greetings, I am Rob Chapman. Welcome to three awesome, hopefully, blues licks. And uh, this is something I thought I might as well do since the three awesome rock licks went down really well. Um, so today I'm going to be using three different guitars, three different licks, most of them fairly simple, all of them tuned to standard tuning. So here are some tuning notes for you. <laughs> fingers. It's really really simple and it's really cool. Let me introduce you to this sick lick number one. Start off with your third finger and by the way we're using blues position number three which looks like this. So I'm taking full advantage of the open strings to cause some cool dissonance and some little dyadic two note chords in the lick. Starting with 7th fret and the open high E string which I'm going to pluck with this finger while I pick with my playing string at the same time and then you can pluck again and go back a semitone on that G string then bring your 3rd finger over to the 7th fret on the D string again picking on that open E but as we come down to this 5th fret on the D string, I'm then going to pick the open B string and give it a slight blues curl or pull it down. And then finish off on the, the root note to finish the lick. Position 5 of the pentatonic minor blues scale. And we're taking this first note of that scale and bending it to the next available scale note, as always. Enjoy that bend if you've got a 52 gauge E string like I currently have. And then once you've bent that up a tone, let go of it, but keep it muted. And just scale up. So 12, sorry, 12, 10, 12, 11, 12. So, so far you've got this. But what I want you to do is rather than just play this one 12th fret note, I want you to bar the first finger uh, at the, uh, where are we, 11th to 9th fret, and bar it across. So you get this dyadic sound. And we're going to step back like that, so you get... All I've done is I've left the little finger on the 12th fret, kept the first finger in place, and I've picked and plucked that, and then stepped the, the D string back a semitone and picked it again. And to complete, I just slide up my first finger and I'm picking the G and B string as a little dyad again. So you get... It's a 
really cool little ending phrase I worked out a couple of days ago, so you could kind of imagine it sort of... Uh... Lick number three, our final lick is an A major. Quite unusual for me, but I kind of figured why not. On the 12th fret, D and B string, we're going to pick the D string and shift a diet uh, like a shape around. Start by picking that D string and slide the whole shape up a tone, and then we're going to be picking E string, B string. Every time you pick the bass string, D string in this case, and an E string, B string. Slide it back. This time slide it back a semitone. Take off the third finger and replace the first finger on the B string at the 10th fret. So you get this. It sounds great. Chapman, please subscribe if you like them. There'll be plenty more. Take it easy. Chapter's considerably out. Hey guys, Chapper's here. Welcome to another instalment of three awesome rock licks. Today with three different guitars, um, most of them taken from a couple of videos I've shot previously, and people have mentioned in the comment section below that they like them.